Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is called Dividing Tens, Hundreds, and Thousands. Oh my! Um, let's go ahead and begin. You guys, our common core strand is given there, so our essential question is how can we divide numbers through thousands by whole numbers through tens? Okay, let's go ahead and try a problem here. Uh, so Jack is packing apples in a box. Each box holds four apples. How many boxes can Jack pack with 120 apples? Okay, so this is a division problem, you guys, and we're going to use uh, basic facts to, uh, with place value to divide these numbers. So we're going to go ahead and divide uh, 120 divided by 4 right here, and we're going to use the basic fact uh, that 12 divided by 4 is 3. Okay, and then so um, I just slid that up there. So 12 divided by 4 is 3. And then we're going to use place value. 120 equals how many tens? Well, there's the 10 spot right there. So the 2 ends right there. So it's going to be 12 tens. Okay, 120 is the same as 12 tens. 12 times 10 is 120. Okay, so we're going to use place value. 12 tens divided by 4. Well, remember, 12 divided by 4 up here, 12 divided by 4 equals 3. So 12 tens divided by 4 is going to equal 3 tens right there. Okay, which equals 30 right there. So 120 divided by 4 is just 30, okay? So here's, here's 12 divided by 4, and so 12 divided by 4 gets me this 3, and since this has a 0 right here, we just add a 0 with the 3 and make it 30, okay? Uh, 12 tens divided by 4 is going to get me 3 tens, okay? It ends in the 10 spot, okay? But I like to think of, you know, 12 divided by 4 is 3. That has a 0, that has a 0, so end it with a 0 right there. So uh, Jack can pack... 30 boxes right there, 30 boxes of delicious apples, okay? Right now it's apple season, it's in October where I live right now, uh, and it's uh, the apples are delicious right now. Okay, let's uh, try dividing 1,200 divided by 4, okay? Remember 12 divided by 4 is 3, so 1,200 is the same as 1,200, okay? So uh, 1,200 divided by 4 is still going to be, here's 12 divided by 4, so 1,200 divided by 4 is going to be 300 right there. Okay, which equals 300, okay? So, um, uh, 1,200, 1,200 divided by 4 is 300. And again, I like to think of it like this. This 12 divided by this 4 equals this 3. And since this has two zeros, and we end it with two zeros, so it's 300 right there. All right? All right, let's try to uh, find the unknown number here. So, 420 divided by what equals 70? Okay, well, since they have zeros, I highlighted those right there. Since they have zeros right there, then just think of this number right here. 42 divided by, um, divided by this number, 6, will equal this 7 right here. Okay? And then since that has a zero, then it's going to equal with that zero right there. There's my 7D right there. Okay? So... Uh, since this has a zero at the end, I'm going to have a number here with a zero right there. And then let's just think of um, let's just think of uh, uh, what number divided by five equals this three right here. Well, what number divided by five equals three? Hopefully, you guys can see that 15 divided by five equals three. Okay, so I took uh, this number divided by this number equals this number, and since that has a zero, that has a zero. Okay, so we're just using place values. Okay, again, these guys end in zero, so I'm going to go ahead and highlight those right there, and then just do 64 divided by 8. 64 divided by 8 is 8, okay? And then so uh, if we did uh, 640 and divided by 8, we'd just do 64 divided by 8, and it would get me this 8, and since that has a zero, that has a zero. But the answer is this blue 8 right there. Okay, I told you this lesson was fast. Take care, everybody.